you know, I've never met anyone like you before. I think we might be soulmates. Oh, thank God, you're nothing like my ex. She was crazy. Who, him? He's just a friend. Ugh. Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. So, who were you with? What were you doing? What time did you do it? Why aren't you texting me back? Oh my god, you are so jealous and possessive. What? I mean, when I was asking you who you were with and what you were doing and, like, putting you under surveillance 24-7, I was just, I was just teasing. You know that, right? You're just crazy. I can't take this anymore. I'm sorry you feel that way. Nobody else has ever had this problem with me. You're the only one. And quite honestly, my ex never put me through this. Yes, I called her crazy, but she and I were in love, you know? We had a connection. Yo, chill. You need to calm down. Yes, I was yelling at you before, but you need to chill. My phone died. Four weeks ago. Are you crazy? I never, ever said that. You're the one who always says that. Honey, I would never cheat on you. A second time. So what do you think about me? I mean... What do you like most about me? You need to learn how to take a joke. You're way too sensitive. I mean, honestly, can't you tell when I'm being sarcastic? I would never steal your work on purpose and take credit for it. I didn't get fired from that job. That stupid boss was so stupid that I basically fired him. When I quit, it was my decision. Me and my ex are just friends. You need to work on your trust issues. I mean, yes, we hang out every weekend, and yes, she's always texting me when we're on a date, but you just have to learn how to deal with it. I mean, you need to work on your trust issues. Just because I'm getting back together with my ex doesn't mean that we can't be friends. I mean, would you want to throw away our entire relationship? Why not just keep the friendship part of it alive? I'm sorry, but you're just way too clingy. I mean, yes, it's true that I texted you and called you 24-7 in the first few months of our relationship, but you're the one that's clingy. So what are you up to? What you doing these days? Want to meet up? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a demonstrative video of things that narcissists say and tactics that they use, um, often projection and gaslighting and triangulation and all sorts of blame shifting behaviors in order to escape accountability. I hope the little mini demonstrations of things that they might say in order to use those tactics were helpful and validating to your experience. Um, as many narcissistic abuse survivors know, um, there's nothing more crazy making than being told that you are the one with uh, the traits and behaviors that your abuser is showing you. So I hope that video illustrates that uh, quite clearly. Um, obviously, there's some things in the video uh, that narcissists won't explicitly say, but I chose to say it anyways because that's what they're really uh, thinking and doing and saying, so I hope you can distinguish that uh, from the manipulation that's taking place initially. Um, and I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it gave you a laugh. Uh, we all need some laughter in our lives. Laughter is medicine. And I did um, did not follow the traditional model for the rest of my videos, um, so I hope uh, trying something new helped. And seeing this on the screen uh, really helped to validate your experience. So um, if you want more videos on narcissistic abuse recovery, self-care, emotional abuse recovery, trauma recovery, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Self-Care Haven, and check out my book, The Smart Girl's Guide to Self-Care. I'll talk to you soon, and until then, take care.